I can tell you they verbally challenged him, told him to put up his hands, and at that time, you know, he, he was shot when he didn't comply. There was no shots fired by uh, Matt at the scene. Richard Matt shot dead by federal agents. The focus now turns to finding David Sweat, still on the run this morning, three weeks since the escape from Dana Mora. Good morning. I'm David Schneider. After a very eventful Friday, all eyes in northern New York are looking out for escaped killer David Sweat traveling alone now that his partner in crime, quite literally, has been killed. We go right now to WPTC's Vanessa Mashanya live in Malone this morning. Vanessa, what can you tell us at this hour? Good morning, Dave. Well, this is certainly the biggest news to happen since the day the two convicted murderers escaped from the maximum security prison in Dana Moore. Richard Matt, 49 year old, shot dead by Border Patrol. And though, even though this comes as a sigh of relief to not only the community, but law enforcement across the state of New York, let's not forget David Sweat is still out there and the manhunt continues this morning. Now, this is video from last night, the search operation and effort there by law enforcement. Now, in a news conference, Governor Andrew Cuomo laid out how exactly the 49-year-old was found, saying that it was actually shots fired at a camping trailer yesterday afternoon that led to police to a cabin in the woods of Malone. Then the smell of gunpowder led them to Richard Matt. Now, According to authorities, they say when asked to raise his hands in the air, Matt did not comply, and therefore he was shot by a Border Patrol agent. Now, police are still on the manhunt. Uh, we have no reason to believe that Mr. Sweat was not with Mr. Matt at the time, but we don't have any confirming evidence that he was either. Uh, there are several leads that are being tracked down as we speak to uh, about Mr. Sweat and his possible whereabouts, but we don't have anything to confirm uh, where Mr. Sweat is at this time. Just like the governor said, there is no evidence that Matt and Sweat ever did split apart during these last three weeks, but also there has not been a sighting of Sweat, and that's where what police are working on today, trying to find any trace of David Sweat in these woods.